Hey everybody, welcome back to City Skylines with Wandering Kid. So in my last episode, a couple of things came up. First was, sorry about how jittery the end of that last episode started showing up. Uh, it was either that or bore you to death. So I went with uh, jumping it around a little bit to keep the timeline intact. And try and make that flow a little better. Secondly, uh, Main Street down here in downtown industrial sector is a blinking mess. Just, it's a mess. There's no way around that. It's what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust downtown a bit. First off, I want to remove a portion of this road. And why will make sense eventually. For the moment, we will simply run this gravel back up just enough to put our cemetery back in play. What we're going to do there is eventually... Actually, why don't we do that now? We're going to turn that into a four-lane road. All right, we need to upgrade the road, which will run over a few things. That space is already occupied. I cannot do that there. Hmm. So that part doesn't going to matter, but either way. Okay, so uh, yeah, we'll get back to that part. What we're going to do is we're going to blow up this. Now I'm curious to see what happens with the traffic. Okay, they're trying to find the road. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Next batter. Come here to find our six lane road. Uh, we're not trying to upgrade anymore. Now what I want to do is I want to bring this out. And we're going to bring that up two levels. And we're going to bring it down along here. So let's say... Here. And now we're going to drop it to... And bring it in. Okay, so now we've bridged across our industrial zone. Not necessarily the best plan in the world for what we need to do, but it's a beginning. Now we're going to start working underneath the bridge. For example, we're going to connect... Oh, well, I was going to connect those two roads up. What seems to be the trouble here? Okay, how about if I try and connect up a little to the left of that? Or not. Okay, how about here? Okay, that works, but I can't go in between these two. All right, we're going to extend this out to here. Oops. We're going to make this a full road. Make life a little easier. We will upgrade the road we just added in. Okay, now, next batter is I want to create off-ramps, basically, coming down onto these roads. I thought I had a way to do that before, but apparently I didn't fully think it through. Okay, with them coming across here, this line is going to still keep building up. Alright, I want to see how this... Wait, looks like I've got people who don't think they have road access. What's going on? Are these the bus routes? These are the bus routes. Okay, so I need to deal with busing. I had wanted to put in an off-ramp, basically, from here down into this area. So to do that, I think I would have to break this and this. Oh, dude, this is going to be drastic. I'm going to put in a two-lane road. Uh, not that upgrades. Now, can I get it where I want it? Almost. There we go. Now, I need to drop it too. Uh, 
Um, what just happened? That's not what I wanted. All right, let's try it the other direction. Well, let's start with this. Okay, I wanted it to come in from up here. Oh, I see, it can't build there because this street is in the way. All right. We'll knock them out. Again, I'm gonna have to repath a lot of things down in here. We knew this coming in. Come on, line up for me. Why won't you line up where I want you? That's going down. So it wants to go into one of these spots. It does not want to go where I want to put it. All right, let's try it from here. Let's see if I start it here. Whoop. Space already occupied, slope is too steep. Well, I'm trying to get it into the occupied space. Thank you very much. It will not, oh. Okay, so you see where these wires go? It won't let me put anywhere where the wires are. How curious. What happens if I blow that apart and bring you forward slightly and then bring you up by two? Or I guess it would be three. Okay, now. So I take my six lane road here. It will not let me. No matter what I do, huh? Okay, so you have to build the overhead bridge before you build everything else. All right. Well, how pesky. Okay, so we're gonna do some very large land murdering here. Okay, so we've just blown out a good chunk of our industry. But necessary. Okay, so I can't place anything underneath there. Here's taken out, here's taken out. Okay, so directly under the bridge, I just didn't leave enough height. I thought I'd be able to build up um, industrial areas down in here, but apparently I cannot. And now from here, I'm going to rebuild these roads that we took apart. Now that's kind of surgery without trying to blow apart the entire area. We'll see how well it works out. We lost some industry going up through there. Let's see, do I have any other spots that are open? No, nope, okay. So, not too horrible. We're gonna see how that w ends up working out. Hey, look, I've hit small city. So, a small city, I get train stations, um, allowing tourists to travel to and from the city, uh, connect the rails leading out to allow trains to come and go automatically. Cargo train terminal uh, allows trains to carry goods and raw materials. Cargo trains can operate inside the city or with an outside connection, build stations and connect them with tracks. Uh, in the hydropower plant, flowing water is an infinite source of kinetic power. Find a strong current in a river and build a dam to access this source of clean electricity. Now, I don't have any good places for hydroelectric right now, so we're gonna come back to that idea. Uh, let's see. We've also got some perks for businesses. Low density commercial businesses double their sales. Upkeep, two cents per low density commercial building. Big business, uh, same idea with high, high density business, four cents. Allow industry to work even more effectively by overlooking a few work safety laws. Doubles the amount of goods produced, six, per, six cents per industrial building. High tech housing, turn homes into much cooler smart homes to raise the land value around them. Uh, slightly increased land value, four cents per residential. And a high rise ban, ban high rise building, restricts buildings from being upgraded to the highest levels. 
prohibits construction of tall buildings, restricts the buildings from reaches their highest level. I'm not quite sure why I'd ever want to do that. Um, trains are something we will play with eventually, but not yet. Now, I do have a desperate need for some more commercial. And if I take a look down here... Oh, let's turn you to Marquis, thanks. It looks like I've got one, two, three, four here off this road. So I'm going to put in a small access road coming in this way. And we're going to expand our commercial district up. And I'll probably want to put in a walking path going along the back here at some point and bring it out here towards our college kids. So while I'm thinking about that, why don't I take care of that now? Now the problem is, is all the college kids are on that side for the moment. But let's see here. If we bring in a walking path and I bring it here. And I bring it here and I go up one, I go to here. Actually, can I do that? A little more effectively. I'd bring this, let's say here, and then bring this up by one. Okay, so I can't put it in the middle, it's gotta go up. Alright. I wasn't sure if there was a spot in the middle of that road where I could put one of the posts for the walking path in. Okay, that gives me a walking path over the intersection. And let's see here. I have gravel paths here. Nobody's built here yet. Really? Slope too steep. All right, let's go down here. Up, over, and down. That lets people walk out of here and get over to here. And while I, well, let me see here. I was thinking I wanted to wait until I had built out more of this area to figure out where I wanted to drag this across. However, if I just go from here, well, that'll cause a bulldozing and I don't want to fight with it. Okay, so that's some walking paths for us to work with for the moment. We've got some more commercial zone to try and fight that problem down. So I'm going to watch traffic here for a few minutes and I'll let you see what I see here in a moment. Well, I guess I'm watching traffic come across now. They're coming out of there. They're coming to here and they're breaking up as necessary. This center lane of traffic looks like it's going to be getting a lot of the traffic that needs to go through. If we take a look at our legend... Okay, it looks like a tremendous amount of our trucking traffic has pushed itself into the back here. And I've got very long lines waiting to get out of this area. All right, I'm going to let this go for a couple of minutes. I'm going to see if this gets worse or better. All right, so watching my traffic patterns... I've come to a conclusion that what I need is create um, access roads across where I've got some industry here. I need to make it easier for the trucks to get to this highway entry. So we're going to do a little bulldozing. Welcome to Eminent Domain, folks. I have other industry to put up. Now, I also wanted to do that down here. However, I don't want to take out my bus depot or my cemetery. So I think I'm going to leave this area alone. But what we're going to do is do that and that. And that will make access easier throughout this area, hopefully, for my trucking. I've also had to knock out of all of the bus lines. All of the bus lines were completely screwed up with what they were doing. Uh, the only one that's still up is the green line, and that's only uh, the light green one, and that's only halfway done right.
So now, depending on how this ends up working out, now one of the things I would have liked to do is have this right lane doing something coming out of here. But that should set up for everybody making a right down on this direction. Okay, looks like we took a lot of the weight off. These two streets here were taking on a lot of load trying to get people out. Now this is a street light because it's coming into a four way. Or I, I have a four lane road here. So I'm wondering if upgrading this to a four would be useful. I just, whoops. I only want to upgrade, yeah, I didn't want to upgrade all the way back to this intersection. I just wanted to upgrade there, so no, I'm not going to do that. That is a lot of cows mooing in my ears. However, that does seem to have gotten rid of a lot of our snarl. We've still got a bad snarl down here. I'm still working on this problem. Uh, that's going to be a lot of commuter traffic that I'm going to have to uh, get, that I'm going to have to deal with. I have a feeling I'm going to deal with that with metro lines. And let's see how we're staging on up here. Not a lot of left-hand turners. Most of them are going straight. Alright, let's take a pause for a second. This gentleman is driving home to the Dale residence. Yeah, these are all people who are driving home. So apparently they've got jobs up in my commercial district here or something like that. And now they're driving home. This snarl is very bad. I need to up my com uh, commuter abilities. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to the metro. I'm going to add in a metro station back here. Okay, so I decided I'm going to bring them in about mid-block here over by the high school, I believe. Actually, this would be the best. This has a good turnaround for buses. I'm going to bring in the metro here. Now we're going to run some tunnel. So it'll start there. It'll go to here. And then it'll come up to here. Now I'm going to need bus lines. Coming through here and roving the neighborhood. The objective here is to try to kill as much commuter work as I can. All right, so I've created four bus lines. One is this yellow upper residential loop. A second one is this dark blue line. It heads this way, comes down around the southwest areas. And there's no stops along here. It's just a direct route back to the metro. The teal line kind of does the same idea on the right side, but it grabbed a few extra stops along the way. And I have this dark blue to handle this ocean area over here, which also comes back up and just resets. We'll take a look at that, but one of the things I did was I made sure each bus has its own bus stop over here by the metro. Hopefully that makes life easier. Now, I also need to fix up industrial. If you'll take a look, my green line is all over the place. It's not quite really being as useful as it used to be. And in particular, I really don't want it running across uh, the bridge. There's kind of no reason for it to do that. I want it on surface streets. So what we're going to do, first off, we can drag stops by just clicking on the line. Uh, nope, that's a garbage truck. But I have to be in this mode with bus stops, and now if I click on it, drag line to add a stop. Out of curiosity, okay, just things haven't built back up there. Coming back to this. So let's take a look at our stops here. This is the beginning of the, the beginning of the line is here. It comes up here, and there's nothing for it to really do until it gets up to here, where all the intersections are and the pedestrians can do, can go. Now, since I haven't built really any industry here, I think what I'll do... No, 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 not that one. Uh, can I grab one here? Okay, we'll put one there, and we'll let them go that way. Now we're going to drag this line, and we're going to put a stop here by this intersection. And we'll grab this line and we'll put a stop here by this intersection. And there, that should clean that up a bit and have it be the inner loop for the factories. And I'm going to need another, I'm going to want to put another line in for the outer loop. 
So now if I look at my busing routes, I've got an inner and an outer line going in opposite directions. And over here, I've got some residential all feeding up towards the metro here. So I'm basing most of my busing off of the metro. Now over here, I could in theory do the same thing, but there's a lot of walking path uh, structure that I can work with over that way. And I'd like to try and see if I can keep Fairview Square bus free. We got a lot of pedestrians going through here. Oh yeah, I can buy more land. Uh, we'll get back to that. I need to explore which land I want to buy. But hopefully that means all of these guys are going to walk here and not have an issue. The other thing I was thinking of was possibly a little bus from here to the commercial area, but meh, why? What I may need to do, though, is bring a bus from he uh, from the metro up into these back neighborhoods, because that may be too far for my pedestrians to actually walk. So that's something I'll have to think about. Because if I'm looking, I don't see... Oh, I just see pedestrians there. I've got a few up here. What have we got here? Uh, he's going to the playground. Hey, he's going to the local drugstore. So, perhaps. I've also been thinking about uh, doing busing from our industrial park back up towards the residential. But I have an idea for how I want to deal with that. So if I take a look at this, right now I've got 279 per week on buses, 266 per week on Metro. Looks like this Metro station's getting a decent amount of use. 10 passengers are going towards the far, far end. That's not a surprise. We still need to build up our passengers because we've only just really started doing any kind of heavy busing. We've also got a lot of pedestrians coming in as well, which is nice to see. Tremendous amount of pedestrians. So if we take a look at our bus lines, okay, you're empty. You're empty. Well, that's not promising. All right, how about guys leaving? And you got two, you've got eight. Okay, well, we're gonna have to let the bus lines fill, fill up a bit, I suppose. Don't let them get themselves figured out. Now, I have a feeling the people trying to go to the yellow line are going to be slightly problematic. And the reason for that is I think they're going to have to walk all the way down here to the intersection to come up to the bus station. So a walking path or something like that here would have been helpful. That is a tremendous amount of people waiting for the metro. 129 people getting on. Oh, excellent. So we've got plenty of people going on our metro train here. Well, hopefully this works out. And meanwhile, traffic. Traffic is cleared up significantly up this way. That's good to see. We've got a decent sized line here waiting to get on. This intersection is not the best, best setup. But at least I don't see major backups. Over here, uh, the southern side looks pretty clear. I guess that's because of our exit out that way as well. If we take a look at this, we've got a lot of staging going on. Uh, let me shut this off so we can see what lane they're in. These guys are all in the left-hand lane to make a right. So my guess is they're all going to here. Okay, so that's clearing. Are we clearing up here? Yes, we are. All right, pedestrians on my bridge. That's kind of like not where I want, to, want you guys to be. But of particular note is down here is cleaning up, down here is cleaning up. So we've removed a lot of our gridlock down here. Uh, the center of our industrial area is moving. The only significant intersection of, of problem is this one. And that empties out reasonably quickly. Let's just double check that it's doing what I'm expecting it. That's working nicely. What I mean, actually, I'm going to upgrade that to a six lane road. 
And the reason I'm going to upgrade it to a six-lane road is because there is three directions uh, traffic may want to go from here. Left, center, and right. And we'll make life easier up here. Down here, not so much. So that hopefully will help out some extra. When a streetlight goes, everything just clears up. And I don't see any significant backlog on any of our side roads. How are we looking on this? 0% full. I can finally empty this thing out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to shut it off. Now, relocating this building will cost me how much? 800 bucks. So it's shut off and relocatable. Um, to build a garbage uh, landfill cost me four grand. So it's one fifth of the price to move it. I'm going to just destroy the place. That gets rid of that and we can move on. Okay, this landfill is full. Okay, my landfill sites, neither of them have any more room. So we're going to start emptying both of those out. And if I take a look at garbage, my incinerators are barely able to keep up with garbage. I'm going to need at least one more incinerator. I don't want to stack these guys next to each other like I did over there because... Ick. I mean, just one of them is blowing up the land. It just looked nasty. So, where would I want to put this other incinerator? Well, while I figure that out, actually, that's something to check out. Uh, population employed. My unemployment's up to 6%. Uh, 5,968 people are employed out of 6,125 available. For education, my university, I have 21% graduated citizens from my university, so I have 6% who are highly educated. What that means is for industry, I can start bringing in office jobs. And office jobs are nice because they have no pollution. So, let's put in an office there. Now, in one way or another, I want to build in this zone. I think to do that, we will build in a two-lane road. Two, four, six. Like so. We'll slap in a walking path. Because we can. And let's put in offices through here. And see how that works out. And while they're going, we will put in another field of industry there. So that should help out with our jobs concern and our commercial. We are requesting more residential. But I think what we'll do is we'll build up some more high density residential here as well, or at least prep it so that it's ready to go. So I'm playing with different layouts for how I want to try and set up residential districts. So this particular residential district comes in on one road splits into three kind of directions. One short little road to the left, one that comes up here into main feeders, and another to the right to another feeder. I've got walking paths going along the back, another one that connects out to the main way. I've bridged into the back here, so pedestrians back here who want to get towards this direction can. And I've put in two parks. Uh, part of the reason I put this park in here was because this little area here was chewing up some of my ground area. So I figured that was a good use of that. And it's right next to the walking path. I need to go look at the train station at some point. Yeah, fine, I'll come back to you. I have an idea of what it does. Uh, I don't want to try and get involved with that yet. I do want to know how much they cost though. Uh, 45, 45 grand for the passenger train, 60 grand for cargo. So we'll come back to those. I need to hook into this rail line. It's the only place that it really makes sense for me to care about bringing trains in. So I'll have to figure out what I'm doing with that. And I do need to buy more land. Now, if one of these two will get me in the right direction. This actually will let me start playing with the higher end 
um, what do you call it? Higher end wind turbines by letting me put them in the lake, which has high wind speed. If I look at the wind speed, I've got good wind speed up there. So I think I will buy this piece of land, which will let me get down to there eventually, for seven grand. Now, with that in mind, uh, let's shut that off. So I've got my nice pristine lake out here. I also could play with hydroelectric. Um, I would need to purchase this area of land to do that. But I could build up the terrain on both sides of this and put in a nice big drop uh, dam with a good long drop down towards the bottom. Dig out the bottom, dig up the top. It takes some work to make a good dam from what I've seen. We will play with that at some point where I'm not at risk of flooding myself. Because that's really the big problem. And if we look at it from afar, Fairview Square is pretty dense. Looks pretty nice. So I will be filling in some of our residential. The down here, I'm going to want to keep putting in higher end residential. What is this complaining about? Oh, garbage. That would be because that landfill, I guess, was trying to take care of them. I do need to get that other incinerator in. I still haven't decided where I'm putting that, so I will get back to y'all on that one. I have been tempted to drop this road, bring it up over the highway, and bring it back down. It's a temptation. I'm trying to resist the temptation. I really want these guys to go by highway. But it is a very tempting idea. Either that or just to tunnel it under. Well, that might be what's worth doing. But I don't want to bring it up into my forestry area. I really want to see how this traffic pattern works out. Because right now, it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I've got too much traffic just building up along this line here. I don't even think they can make it through on a single streetlight. Doesn't look like it. And so I'm getting a lot of staging going on up through here. It might be worth bringing in another highway connection down here. This area may just be too big to do without having highways. So maybe I make a small, tight highway through here just to let people get around. There's such a tremendous amount of track that's coming in and they're all making a left. Every single one of them. There is another option. There is another option. And that's if I upgrade this to a one way. If I one way the traffic coming out of here. I will force all this traffic to go straight, in theory. Now what I had hoped was this land would know it could go without getting involved over here. But that's giving me two lanes of access there. Now these guys can come through and go where they need to go. Now that may clean up my mess there. Let's try it out. I just like watching this giant conga line. That's kind of cool. Now, I did want to take a look at mass transit. It's been running for a little bit. I've got 381 citizens per week on the bus, 430 per week on the metro. That looks like it's taken out a lot of my commuter congestion, congestion which is nice to see. Take a look at traffic. This area is problematic, but... That's what it's going to do. But everybody's clearing. Everybody's clearing up here. We knew this was messy. Just a lot of traffic coming in off the highway there. Looks like we did clear up a chunk of our problem down here, though, so that's nice to see. Nobody saw that. All right, so it looks like we're in a good general position now. We still got all these trucks trying to get out of here for street light and they're failing. Let's see how many we can get. 
Uh, good chunk of them. In a way, I'm almost thinking a short, uh, short highway on and off over here might be worthwhile. But it looks like they're clearing out. They're getting there. As long as this staging doesn't get completely screwed up, we should be all right. I don't know if having a four-lane road was of any real use up here, to be honest with you. Because they're all trying to make almost the same turn, having the extra lanes doesn't really ma matter because they're just stacking up behind each other anyway. Over here, they're all stacking up in the right-hand lane. There's no reason to make a left. Now, once I bring in more industry, that might change, but for the moment, I'm kind of wondering if bringing these down to two-lane roads would make more sense since everybody's trying to basically make the same traffic pattern. Down here, four-lane roads would actually be more useful at the moment. I'm just not sure. I do want to go take a look at our office buildings, though, because that should look cool. So here we go, we've got the Live and Learn Training, Albatross Publishing, Business Planning Company, Fine Financial Services, so we have people who are getting work up here. Uh, we've got almost no jobs available. So it looks like a lot of my highly educated people have found work, which means I'm going to want to probably bring in some more offices. So why don't we do that? We'll bring in some more office here. And some more office here. That should work out. And my commercial is still going up. I'm still going to need to build up a bigger commercial district. So I'm going to need to figure out where I want to put that. Maybe I put it down here along this road. That actually would probably work out nicely. So if I bring these guys in here... And I bring in another heavy commercial here. And we put a little light commercial over here. There, maybe that'll work out nicely. And maybe it won't, we'll see. I've always got this area to fill in with commercial as well, if I chose to. It looks like we're doing all right. All right, I think I've decided what I wanna do with all my incinerator plants. I built a small outlet off the uh, highway system over here to allow for trucks to have easy access on and off our highway. And I'm going to make this into our high pollution zone because we're going to need one. So what I did was I created a raised bridge, only one level high, and then I lowered it back to the ground over this way. Now from here I'm going to create basically a one-way loop for the moment. Uh, let me see here. First I'm going to want make sure I can get my one way underneath the bridge. So we're going to start a road about here. Now I know I can do this with two lanes. Apparently I can't get my six lane under. Being fussy. Yeah, it doesn't want to let my six lanes through. But if I do this with two lane, I can get it under. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll set up a series like this, maybe. I don't know why it's giving me space already occupied when I go there. I think what we'll do is we'll set it up going underneath this one. I wanted something that looked cool was the entire point of this. Let's see, something like that. Yeah, that should work out. And we'll hook it this way. Um, right, that works. And we'll just blow that part off. We'll loop our one way around. I want to bring this a little further south. Bring it over here-ish. We'll bring it back up and under. We'll start there. I should be able to get this through. Usually I can squeak it somehow. 
Huh. Now it's being fussy. Now it doesn't want to let me to get bring it through there. Well, if I bring it down by, let's say, a half note. Bring it to the same height and then bring it up. I'm getting a lot of slope too steep. Wow, that took a lot. That took way too much. Well, it does look cool. Oh, come on, really? That's why I hate building on hills. All right, let's try this a little differently. If I knock that out, knock that out. Um, I can't see the other piece of that tunnel. All right, switch the roads, go down one, switch the bulldozer, bring up the tunnel, bring it back, clear the bulldozer, bring it back up. Nope. All right, let's do a little landscape. All right, let's see how that works out. Well, that worked better. Uh, come on, come out, thank you. All right, let's bring you up to here. Ish. And then I've gotta go from here. All right, so we've got the beginnings of a small, heavily pollutioned one-way zoning. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of my land, all of my incinerators. So that brings me up to six incinerators. I'm going to obliterate anything in this area, but that's what's going to happen. I'm wondering if this area out here will heal or not. So we'll see how that works out. We're going to bring some power over into that zone. Um... Oh, by the way, you can raise or lower your power lines the same way you can raise and lower everything else. So there we go. Now it'll bring power in. Or out, I should say. Although they are connected to the power grid via that. I don't know if that was actually necessary. Let me clear that back out. One other thing I wanted to show you about power was once I got this lake, I put in some of the advanced wind turbines. So that should also help me out a bit. Uh, my power right now is 347 of 199. We're going to see how that ends up working out. So with these six incinerators going, that should actually start picking up my garbage problem and reducing it. And with them having highway access, that should clean up things tremendously. Now, one of the nice things is, is everybody should come in, hang the left, come up, hang the right. Uh, this is street lighted unfortunately. But hopefully that'll reduce uh, problems in the back. I did forget to run water. That's not good. There. And I'll take care of water for a while. So now our herd of garbage trucks is coming through. They screw each other up when they pull in. Once I have things on the other side of the road, I guess I should have done that already so that they'd use both lanes out here. Because everybody's going to want to be in the left lane right now. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move him here. And move him here. That should help with lane usage. Okay, why do I have a car down here? He works at the incineration plant. Okay. There we go. Now we've got him on both sides of the road. That'll help out a bit. Now this is interesting. My one-way, my one-way two laners did not cause a street light to occur down here on the six lane. Hmm. I'm wondering. If I set up six lane. If I set that up as a one-way in, and this is a one-way out. If I'll get rid of that street light. Let's try it out. Alright, so. 
Six lane one way. Let's make sure I can get up to it before I do anything else. So that's you. So out here. Slope ends up too steep. I can't do anything about getting that slope up high enough. Even at half steps, it's too high. Yeah, I can't bring it up enough. All right. Well, a humbug. Well, that's why I chest. All right. So we'll play with this for the moment, and we'll see how it goes. This is all because I wanted to get fancy. And this is just a complete mess down in here. This entire design is not working for my intent. So I'm not quite sure what I want to do to fix this. Because now I've just got a traffic backlog back here. As well as up here, this road is jammed. Hmm. So, this was a good idea that failed miserably. Okay. I said I was worried about the traffic up here. Forget the traffic up here. Look at this highway. What a mess. What a mess. I have to completely rethink what I've done out here. Holy smokes. We just watch it for a second. It's because of this stoplight. There's stop lighting, and that stoplight is uh, built down to the highway. All right, so there's a couple of things that I can definitely do to help ease this. Start off with a one-way, one two-lane. After the off-ramp. That should help out here in a moment. As people split out. Part of the problem was my trucking traffic and my commuters were all building up on the same lane. I was only getting half the throughput I truly needed. I'm actually thinking one-way six lane is my better choice here. That should give me a lot better throughput coming off the uh, highway here. Luckily, I've got a huge buildup that I can work against and check myself. So it looks like everybody here is trying to get into the left-hand turn to make a right. That's curious. Now I'm not getting a lot of people who are trying to use anything but the center two lanes. Now that'll change once this side of the industry builds up. We're over here on the right. On the left-hand side, it looks like we're getting a split between center and right-hand side. Not much for the left which means that nobody up here is looking to go that way, which I suppose makes sense. Because you wouldn't want to go that way until you're way up here. All right, well, that got rid of the traffic clog down here on the highway, which was ridiculous. Now I need to figure out how to fix this up, which that I'm going to have to come back to. So I'm still trying to figure out how to deal with the Timber District, but I wanted to show you this entry going down into... Um, our main area in Dean Heights. If you take a look, I'm just loading up garbage trucks here. We're all trying to get off. And everybody's just using, basically using the left-hand lane in here, almost exclusively. When traffic rebuilds back up, I've got a huge line back here on the highway that's just getting worse. But everybody who's on this road is looking to get off here because there's nothing this way. But this line of garbage trucks is, has started to cause major traffic jams. And if you'll take a look, they're mostly using this left-hand lane coming in. They're not filling up this center one much at all, and that right-hand lane gets a little business. 
Now this is a six lane one way going through here. So anybody in the left three lanes goes this way, even though this is only a two lane road. So we've got a definite problem here. I'm gonna need to figure out how to fix up as well. I'm thinking what's happening is, is I get a wave of garbage trucks that comes in and that really causes the clog. Not quite sure what I can do about that. Unless I create a second highway back here that would link up, like maybe perhaps links to here, comes into the residential area from the from the behind? Maybe? I'm not sure. I'm watching the pattern and it's not breaking up. It's not doesn't seem to be a wave thing, or if it is a wave thing, it's created this tidal wave that just can't get enough uh, throughput to actually clear out. I'm not quite sure what the best method of handling this will be. There's a lot of traffic that comes comes off this road going to this exit ramp as well and they're all lined up on a single lane to get in there which is not helpful in any way now by rights what I should probably do is split this entire setup somehow so that we don't have a street light here and they can get in and start breaking up somewhere else but somewhere or another, I'm going to end up with this. I'm going to end up with uh, this type of an intersection causing a problem. Unless I split them and I create a completely different exit uh, strategy. For example, if I had everybody come in here, either go to the bridge and go, or go to the right, I have a bunch of one-ways going back and forth through here, and then bring all the exits up this way, coming off of this road. We'll split them and just bring them out that way, up and over, and going back onto the highway. That might help tremendously. Because I've got to do something about this. That's just insane. Which means I would break this road off of it. Or would I? Well, I think I'd have to, to get rid of the traffic light. Or I would set it as one way for a region, and then set it as two way after that, so that everybody would just flow off. Hmm. I'm just not sure what the best approach for this is. And yeah, I know, this is kind of boring as I babble at you, but I'm trying to think it through. And I'm trying to make sure I keep the babble up while I do it. So if I took this ramp... Well, if I remove these two ramps, and I move them down here, put them on the highway down there, that clears that off. That would let me run a ramp from here going into this same intersection. If I then one way this section of road to here bring in a one way out this way over by the over next to the wind farms hook it in up there and i bring in a one way for a piece here i think that may help tremendously give me a lot better throughput and all right so let's start with the exit ramps over here Be better off tunneling. All right, let's start with you. Let's make it pretty. Let's curve it. Uh, 
I'm not liking how that's looking. Okay, because what I really want to do is that, and then something like that. Alright, and I'm also going to want from here. Let's just see what it looks like when it's straight. Okay, we're going to have to do this in sections, I see. So if I bring you here, now I drill funnel underneath. You're not going to let me do that there. Okay. So, whoops. Oh, there's that. Bring you in. Start here. Let's immediately page down it so that we're tunneling. That doesn't mess with this too much. All right, so that gives me highway entrance and exit over here, which means I can now blow these out. Oops, let me still blow those for a second. Let me get underground. I'm gonna start with this region. That should force all traffic down this way. Now for my next step, we're going to put in a six lane, one way upgrade. Put it there. Okay, we've got all traffic turning around. And we're going to do the same here. Finally, I need to remove this All right, that gets rid of my street light there, thankfully Now this is gonna get a lot more crowded down over this way I do need to rebuild the entryway from here to there. So, we're going to go back to this. I don't need to upgrade. I need to build. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put this back in as a tunnel. is too steep, huh? Oh, I can put it right in there. Good. Alright. What has that done to my traffic? How are we looking? Okay, now if I one-way traffic down into the industrial zones on this. If I keep people from trying to turn back up into the area I'm trying to pull things out of. Okay, so you're, okay, they're one way in the correct directions. Now, six lanes is overkill for this, because really, they're only going to use three of them. Straight left and right.
But hopefully that spreads out our traffic enough once this breaks up a little bit. And everybody can start getting off the highway intelligently. Now what's very nice here is it looks like I don't have any street lights down here. Excellent. That's wonderful to see. Which means I'll just have free-flowing traffic coming off of this area. I will get a bit more of a cluster going on on this road here, but I suppose that's to be expected. Now I'm curious to see what would happen if I put industry along this side. I'm curious to see how trucks would come in and if they would turn around over here or if they'd get lost or what would end up happening on this road. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put an industry over there and find out what happens. I don't know if I want to put that much in. We'll put it in, let's say, here. And we'll see what happens to it, because I've got a high demand for industry right, industry right now. I think, okay, that's got all of this traffic mess looking like it's cleared up a good amount. How's our traffic looking now? Okay, I've got some major weights on this road over here. What's happening? Oh, we got, I've got buses clogging up traffic. How wonderful. Trying to see what happens when this light goes. Okay, so the buses pull out, traffic goes up. Alright, so I simply moved my traffic jam, is what I've done. Well, I suppose that's a step in the right direction. All right, so I got a truck coming this way. So he loads him up. All right. Comes up here. Okay, so he turns around. Excellent. I wasn't sure how that was going to go. Well, it looks like this traffic jam kind of cleared up. I think the buses are the primary cause of it. Is when they pulled in, if one's at the stop and another one wants to get in there, he blocks off a, he blocks the lane off while he's waiting to pull in. So I think that's mostly a, uh, where I've got my buses problem. But if all this moves, how many backups do we get back here? Okay, so this has cleared out. That jammed up because a truck was doing a delivery. Okay. These guys move in. They're using both lanes. So this streams up. That bus pulls over. Doesn't have a second bus behind it. They pull through. Yeah, okay. This is working out. I just gotta be careful of my buses. I gotta wanna put another bus line over here by the mass transit. What I'll probably need to do is probably I'll load the bus lines over here and keep the stops off this road. We still got our industrial problem though, and I still need to figure out what to do with that. So, with all of the work I just did cleaning up Old City a bit, uh, Dean Heights area and whatnot, I still have to figure out what to do with this. But this is flowing nicely now. So I think I've figured out what I'm going to do with this mess. Remember I said avoid roundabouts, they're bad? I found out why they're bad. It's because uh, unless you use highways for the roundabout, you end up with a problem. So, we're going to clean this up a bit and try some roundabout. So, what I need is I need a highway. We're going to curve the heck out of it. Let's see how this ends up working out. Shouldn't be any street lights. What seems to be the trouble? Traffic should just flow. There are no street lights. Everybody seems to just take a quick pause at the entry. Figure out what they're doing. I 
That's actually looking like it's working nicely. Let's see, is traffic still building up or is it freeing up? It's supposed to be better. I'm not sure if it actually is, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I've got too much traffic, I think, for this roundabout theory to actually work. That little bit of pause for every vehicle is actually throwing them off. Especially since they're all jammed up in one lane trying to get to the same place. This probably would work better for if I had things going in and out of all these different uh, areas. But I purposely concentrated everything down here uh, to cause this kind of traffic jam to play with it. Now, there are a couple of things I did do that seem to have helped. First off, I turned this into a one-way out going up here and brought it back over to here. These are also one-ways going up this way, forcing all traffic back that way. So that's something you've seen me do already. Um, actually, I may turn this back into a two-way. Uh, let me do that while I'm thinking of it. And the reason for that is so that anybody up here has some way back in. The reason I turned this into a one-way outgoing was to get rid of the stoplight here because I also turned this area into a one-way road. It helped a reasonable amount. It actually got traffic moving around back through here again. Um, every truck that needed a stop didn't stop every uh, inch of traffic, which helped. Yeah, actually, well, it is slowly clearing. But yeah, I think we're going to have to handle that a little differently. It wasn't a bad idea. It should, didn't end up being a good one. It's helped somewhat. I think we've lost maybe... We've taken that much traffic off the line. Which certainly helps. But I'm getting despawns. I'm watching vehicles despawn, which says that they've been on the map for way too long. Which is also probably part of why I'm getting uh, a traffic release. Now you'll notice, yes, I could run this highway up a little more and hook it into the back here and offload a lot of the weight that I'm dealing with. I'd also give my commuters from over here an easy access point. And one way, I'm kind of actually creating a crucible. The idea here is to make this as compact as possible to see what I can learn about traffic and the proper ways to deal with it. So the roundabout is not working. Uh, you can see my line is just building up. So we're gonna have to find a different one. So I did a little more reading up on the roundabouts and I found out where the problem lied. My roundabout, I made it too tight. What was happening was, um, it was, it had to check too much for the section of the roundabout to determine whether it could get in. That's what was causing that pause. You'll notice I'm getting occasional pauses here. It depends on how many vehicles are already in the roundabout in the section they're trying to get into. But this is certainly helping. I and mean, we're definitely getting that off the road. That should help out. Okay, I'm not quite sure how big or small I can make these roundabouts. Now I'm kind of curious. But we've certainly cleaned up a lot of traffic down this way. Once this general traffic clears, I'm thinking I do this again. I'm not quite sure how big I need, how large I should make this roundabout, however. It is a curious question. But yeah, that, cl that cleaned up a lot of this tremendously. Very nice to see. All right, so I'm gonna experiment and see what I can figure out about roundabouts over here. Um, I'm gonna go look up some more information, see if I can find out how big it goes. I think you want it 16 by 16, so that'd be four, eight, well, let's see. So that's four, that's eight, so about twice that size. So if that's four, eight, so a little smaller than this. But not by much. So, I'm going to build another roundabout over here. And what I may do is cut this road off. 
put in a two lane one way going into this roundabout up here. This has certainly helped my traffic load. I may need to do that again down here for my on off ramps to get all of this trucker load to get off of this highway. Now that I'm actually getting them in, they're getting out a lot faster and I'm getting a jam up downstream. These work nicely. I'm impressed. I think this could just be a two lane and save myself some taxes. There's kind of no reason for this to really be a four lane road, except for this industry up here. But that's cleaned up. Yeah, that's excellent. We cleaned up our big line that was uh, being generated back here. Uh, they're flowing through on the street light and then they get out of here. Looks like they're just going to keep trucking. That's excellent. What I think we'll do to help ease some of that pain is we'll make this a one way. And the reason for that is that should kill the street light that was here. Oh no, I've got a two-way going into a four-way. But this could be a two-lane road. I'm going to make this into a two-lane road here. Because we really shouldn't have that much traffic coming down this way. Most of it should be going there. I may or may not expand this again, we'll see. I'm not sure. Oh, some of this industry fell down. And with that being a one way that way, I now link from here into there. So they come in that way, they can go back and forth, they come in through here and they go that way. All right, so roundabouts are king. Just gotta know how to build them and what you're doing with them. Excellent. Well, with that cleanup, I think we're gonna leave this in a good place for this episode. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.